Hey and welcome to Never Into With Aragon. So this is the preview server and we have the new bard class. And with it we have the mechanic where you can enter into your loot, which is your tab, and you can play whatever notes to play whatever song you want. However, there's also the mechanic where you can go and play these certain songs to cast certain powers. For example, this Blaze Flamenco, where you go and you cast it and all nearby enemies take damage along with enhancing the power of your attacks for that 72 seconds. Now the thing is, on a bard you can go and instead of entering this tab and going and typing out the notes like so to cast the power, you can literally keybind those powers. And this is all in game. I don't know whether it's an oversight of the developers or just something they're okay with. You can go and you can keybind it and I can cast it this fast. So this is me pressing my tab and then this is me pressing one button to cast the entire song. Ta-da! That's the song cast and you can see I have now the effect up here as if I cast it. As if I cast it like pressing all these keys. Now that song is one of the most simple ones. You only have these series of keys which are just two different ones, a six and an eight. When we look at something else which is a series of these keys or a series of these keys, right, that's going to be a whole lot more challenging to cast. But it's just as easy. I press my tab, I press my power and ta-da! That's the song cast and I have my steel march. Same with all of the other ones. There's the Tailwind Mambo. However, you may tell me, we have quick cast slots. What's the difference? Well, quick cast slots don't allow you to gain certain benefits from certain feats. Those certain feats, like for example, this martial performance, when you cast a song not in the quick play slot, you'll enhance that additional damage which they grant you, their song effects, by a total of 10 magnitude meaning you would want to cast the song Nut and Quick Play to gain this extra damage benefit. And you have also this big buff here, which is truly inspired. Whenever you cast a song that's not in your Quick Play slot, when you cast it manually, that is, you will increase your damage by 10% if you're a song blade, or increase your healing by 10% if you're a minstrel. Along with that, you'll also gain 10% crit severity. So there's a good few mana buffs that you want to be using, and to take advantage of that, you need to not have them in your quick cast slot. I just have Rejuvenating Carol there, because as a DPS, I really don't see why I would ever cast this over something that's just going to give me more damage like this Blaze Flamenco. So it could be seen as an issue that this is the case. It does take that skill aspect out of it, of being able to whether you cast this song from memory or not, and whether you can do it so proficiently. Another drawback is with casting it manually, if you mess up one of the notes, you have to redo the whole song, right? You can't go back a note. You have to retype the whole song. If I type out all of this and accidentally press a two instead of a one, then bam, I have to type it all out again. However, with just being able to use this keybind to immediately cast it, I completely evade any of those flaws in casting the spells. And this ability to essentially quick cast the songs manually using the keybind is even more powerful on the Minstrel Power Gaunt, since you're going to have to cast a lot of songs to get those heals off. You have this performance bar and you have this performance cost on each of your songs and you ideally cast them quite frequently in fact. So you are gonna cast them just like so and with this keybind you can do them instantaneous just like that having all of those song effects just active there and then. So how is this done? Well it's done very simply purely through the game commands in your chat, right? When we go to our options and we go to our gameplay and our keybinds, you can see when we scroll down, we have a series of keys here for each of the notes. We go to performance and here you have your barred songs. These are your quick play slots. And then we have all of those corresponding notes from our one to eight, meaning we can keybind each of them because when we hover over the note, you can see it says use manually with our forward slash plus power music note execute seven, right? 
and that's all the way to execute 13. So with corresponding those notes into a actual key bind, we can do something like this, as long as you use the correct annotation. You can see you're starting off with your bind to a certain button. This letter can be any of your keys on your keyboard. And then you just have in those air quotes, you have then your each note, right? And that's it. This number here, it corresponds to the note. A very easy way to do it is to just add plus six to the corresponding note that it shows here. So if it shows a six here, it would be then a 12. As we can see here with the blaze flamenco, it's your 12, 14, 12, 12, 14, 12. And that's it. And I have a key bind for each of those songs all the way through for the song blade ones and also your minstrel ones. So we're going to jump over to some dummies and I can clearly show you that we're dealing actual damage with these powers, these songs, when we go and use that instant keybind button rather than actually just typing out the song. And the reason why it casts it instantly is because if you can type in those notes as quickly as you want, it will cast it then and there. So by pressing one key, it immediately presses all the notes. You can see when I go into one of these powers, which I can't cast while I'm out of combat, like this one, you can see all the notes just appear there instantly because it is one after the other, but it's so short intervals that it seems instantaneous. Like this one again. There we have the Ballad of the Hero, which is this one, and the Ballad of the Witch, which is this one. You can only cast them in combat, so yeah. So again, I will mention that I don't know whether this is an oversight of the developers, and if it is, they could potentially list it as a bug, and then if people use it, list it as an exploit. So you make sure you only use this at your own risk. Highly likely it's going to be disabled before this goes to the live server, so as it's the preview server right now, it really doesn't matter that I'm using this, and I'm assuming it shouldn't matter that I make this video. So yeah, the songs just work like this. Pressing the button, cast off the song, and you get all your damage, you get your full effect, everything, right? There's no negative effects, you're not quick casting it, you're manually casting it. And to get our Ballad of the Witch off, or the Ballad of our um, hero, we have to be in combat, so I'll just get the stacks of the Bile Thorn so it keeps me in combat while I cast the song. Because they do have annoying cast time and then like a cooldown before you can actually do anything. So there we have our Ballad of the Hero up with those swords going around. And we can do press our tab to activate the finale, which is like the anvil from the fighter but anyway and then we can go and we can cast our ballad of the witch that's that one and we have that active and you can see there on above the performance bar it's active and i can press the tab activating its finale and that puts out that wave and deals damage all around my opinion it's a bit overpowered in terms of competing with people who are actually trying to do it manually if you were trying to do it manually compared to this, this is pretty much casting it instantly with just pressing one key so you don't have to memorize any of those keys from the song. If you did have to go type out all of these manually, I think the best way is to have a full set keyboard where you have the numpad. When you have the numpad on the right side so you can take your hand off the mouse, you can still move around like this and you can type out your song like this. I haven't gone and memorized how to type them out as of yet with regards to each of the keys. I've currently just been using, yeah, all of those. I'm quite surprised nobody's actually asked me when watching any of my gameplay how I cast my spells so fast. Well, that's how. Anyway, this should definitely be helpful to a lot of you guys if it remains like this when it goes live. If it does, and it works on live, then use it at your own risk. Personally, I'm going to try and learn off those songs manually and get a hang of that, because using keybinds like this probably won't last long. They're probably going to disable them. So if I presented as well, consider leaving the video a like, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I want to see you guys around. Goodbye for now.